I founded People for a Safer Society after the Sandy Hook tragedy. We are a nonprofit community organization dedicated to reducing gun violence and believe that many people taking just small steps can make a huge difference. We know that it is up to us, all of us, to make sure that change happens. All of us are here today because of the gun violence crisis in our communities and our country, and because we want change. In the past months, after a string of tragic shootings, we have seen more and more people get involved across the country. We are now part of this larger nationwide movement. We participated in school walkouts, as well as marches across the country. People are constantly seeking solutions to the gun issue. How can we make meaningful progress towards reducing gun violence? The first action people can take is to get involved in gun violence prevention organizations and other organizations that build community. We must offer a united front in this effort. I want to take a minute to acknowledge some of the organizations that have contributed greatly to our team effort here in Illinois, and specifically in Evanston. Moms Demand Action for Gun Sense in America. Dear Evanston, People for a Safer Society, GPAC Illinois, the Illinois Council Against Handgun Violence, Indivisible, Lake Street Church, St. Nicholas Church, the Jewish Reconstructionist Congregation, and dozens of other civic and faith-based organizations. There are too many to name. While our group, People for a Safer Society, gathered members and grew as an organization over the past five years, we found that we needed to network with other like-minded organizations. It made us stronger. We helped one another. Together, we were more effective. We have a common purpose. We, were, we are all working to prevent gun violence in our communities. We decided that we need to advance life-saving legislation to reduce gun violence in Illinois, and that is what we set out to do. In fact, 135 organizations banded together to form the Illinois Gun Violence Prevention Coalition. Our joint efforts have been successful. There is currently a bill that would re regulate gun dealers in the Illinois legislature. Oversight of gun dealers is critical because right now there's a gap that enables corrupt dealers to go undetected and unpunished, and these corrupt dealers are the source of guns used in crimes in our communities. Illinois Senate Bill 337, the Combating Illegal Gun Trafficking Act, is a newer version of the Gun Dealer Licensing Act. This bill would require gun dealers in Illinois to be certified. The certification would require dealers to implement best business practices to help prevent guns from entering the illegal market and allow law enforcement to crack down on corrupt dealers. So last week, the gun lobby was beating our side by nearly 1,000 witness slips opposing this bill. We, it, through our coalition, activated our networks and were able to surpass the gun lobby by over 200 slips supporting the bill in less than 24 hours before the start of the committee hearing. Legislators in Springfield are taking note of our strength. And I am delighted to say that the bill just passed the Illinois legislature this past Wednesday with bipartisan support and is headed to the governor's desk right now. So we need everyone to call the governor and urge him to sign the bill into law. We had a second victory this past week when a bill creating a firearms restraining order also passed out of the Illinois legislature with a, le legislature with a bipartisan vote. This bill would allow family members of people who appear to be a danger to themselves or others to petition the courts to remove firearms for on a temporary basis. This bill is also waiting for the governor's signature. So with a single phone call, you can encourage the governor to pass both bills. We have flyers with this information about both bills and what you can do now to help make them become law. So please stop by our table and pick up one of those little orange flyers that they're waving right over there. This legislature, legislative success is truly due to a team effort. Coalition members made calls, sent emails, filed witness slips, and posted on social media to spread the word and gain support for these bills. 
Others went to Springfield and met with lawmakers. I want to take a minute here to acknowledge all the people who worked on these bills. Can everyone present who helped on these bills please raise your hand? I want to thank them. A round of applause for everyone who helped. This was a huge team effort. Getting these two bills through the legislature and onto the governor's desk could not have been accomplished without the work of our entire gun violence prevention community. For every great social movement in history, cooperation is needed to be successful. So today, I'm asking each of you to make a commitment to get involved in the issue as an individual and to be part of our gun violence prevention community, whether it is through People for a Safer Society or Moms Demand Action or Indivisible or another one of the, the great many organizations that work on the issue, please help us build a bigger, better, more powerful gun violence prevention community. Stay connected, volunteer, be involved. Then, I'm also gonna ask you to reach out to your circles of influence, your faith institution, your civic organizations, your networks, and help us build a stronger, more connected gun violence prevention coalition to make it even more than it is today so that we will continue to have successes and ensure communities that are safer for all of us. At our table, we have two sign-up sheets, one for community building, where you can sign up and get connected with our organization, and another for coalition building. If you belong to an organization that you would like, us to invite to be a part of our coalition, then please sign up and help us make that introduction. For example, you can encourage your house of worship to host a petition signing or a phone banking event or hold an educational event such as a panel discussion or a screening of a documentary on gun violence. We've had several very successful events such as all of those. You can also encourage civic organizations to which you belong to connect with us to stay informed on current strategies and initiatives to reduce gun violence. And if you'd just like to gather your friends and network, you can host a coffee in your house and invite a representative of our coalition to attend and talk to people about the gun issue. Working together for the same goal, goal we have immense power. Those of us who want to be safe from guns in our society far outnumber the gun lobby, but we have to be creative, organized, Think outside the box, and above all, we have to be connected with one another and work together. In addition to legislative efforts, there are other ways we can make progress in the gun issue. We can use our purchasing power to reward companies like Dick's Sporting Goods, which stopped selling assault rifles in its stores in February, and Bank of America, which announced in April that it would stop lending money to manufacturers of military-style firearms sold to civilians. We, the ordinary people of Evanston and other Illinois communities, can do extraordinary things when we work together. Before you leave here today, visit our table, get involved in community and coalition building. By banding together, we will accomplish even greater progress. Thank you for being here today, for listening, and for building our gun violence prevention community and coalition. Thank you to each and every one of you for your action.